Hello and welcome to another Sonic Wall video tutorial. My name is MG Sri Ramaya, Senior Tech Support Engineer, Sonic Wall. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure virtual access point profiles for multiple SSIDs for built in wireless. The virtual access point feature allows creating profiles for multiple SSIDs with each SSID bound to a different interface. Users will be leased an IP address from a different subnet when connected to each SSID. The configuration shown in this video is for SonicWall UTM appliances with built-in wireless radio. These are the steps to configure virtual access points. Create a virtual interface in the zone WLAN under the default W0 interface. Create virtual access point profiles. Test the configuration. I am logged into the management interface of an NSA220 wireless and have navigated to the network interfaces page. Our first task is to create a virtual interface. You can see here the default W0 interface for built-in wireless radio. Under Add Interface, select Virtual Interface. In the Add Interface window, set the zone as WLAN. Enter a VLAN tag for this interface. Let's say 110. Under Parent Interface, select W0. Set IP assignment as Static IP Mode. Under IP address, enter 172.16.32.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Enable the checkbox HTTPS and ping. Click on OK to create this interface. You can see the newly created interface listed under the W0 interface. Let's now create virtual access point profiles. I'm on the wireless status page. Go to the virtual access point page. Let us create a profile. Click on Add under Virtual Access Point Profiles to open this window. Since we are using the built-in wireless radio of the sonic wall, keep the radio type as Wireless Internal Radio. Under Profile Name, enter a name. Let's call this profile Corporate VAP. Set the authentication type to WPA2 PSK. Enter a passphrase. The passphrase must be between 8 and 63 characters in length. Keep the remaining settings as it is and click on OK. Create another profile. Let's call this Others VAP. Set the authentication type to WPA2 PSK. Enter a different passphrase for this profile and save this profile. Under Virtual Access Points, a profile has been auto-created with the default SSID. Edit this profile. Change the name to Corp. Change the SSID to Corp Wi-Fi. Enable the checkbox Enable Virtual Access Point. Click on the Advanced tab. Under Profile Name, select Corporate VAP. Click on OK to save the settings. Click Add under Virtual Access Points. Under Name, enter Others. Under SSID, enter Others Wi-Fi. Set the VLAN ID as W0-V110. This is the VLAN ID of the virtual interface we created and we are now binding this profile to the virtual interface. Click on the Advanced tab. Under Profile Name, select Others VAP. Click on OK to save the settings. Under Virtual Access Point Groups, Edit Internal AP Group. Here, Corp is already a member of this group. Add others to it. Click on OK. Go to the Wireless Settings page. Here, under Virtual Access Point Group, select Internal AP Group. At the top, enable the checkbox Enable WLAN Radio. Click on Accept at the top to save the changes. Now, go to the DHCP server page under Network. Here, you can see SonicWall has created DHCP lease scopes for the default wireless interface and the virtual interface. Let us now test this configuration. I am on a Windows host. I am able to see the SSIDs Corp Wi-Fi and others Wi-Fi. 
I click on Corp Y5 and uh, click on Connect and then enter the passphrase set for this profile. I am connected. As you can see, this host has been assigned an IP address from the W0 interface. I am also able to go online. Let me disconnect from this profile and reconnect to others Wi-Fi. You can see I have now been assigned an IP address from the virtual interface and I'm able to go online. This concludes this video on how to configure virtual access point profiles for multiple SSIDs for built-in wireless. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com support.